Our very first guest is in studio and like I said, if you want to get into the world of lawyers, if you want to be there, we'll call our learned friend Wakili, what does it take? And having this conversation with us as an advocate of the High Court, Victor Macquarie, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Victor. My learned friend. Yes. Am I allowed to call you that? Am I just, <laughs> you know, maybe <laughs> nafa ku nafa ku it's on a lawyer, Wakili Mwanzako? No, 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 you can call me that. But okay. I prefer to be called by my name. Uh -huh. uh, I'm Atandi Victor. Mm -hmm. I'm the managing partner of Atandi and Company Advocates. Uh -huh. So you can call me Wakili. Okay, Wakili yes, is yes. fine. Did you always want to get into this? You know how, like, back in the day, yeah. if your family had teachers, yeah. then most likely among the five of you, six of you, however kids you're in, lazima mkutakuwa na moja mwalimu. Now, you know, funny thing is, uh, uh, I thought... At the time, I wanted mm -hmm. to be a pilot. Eh? Uh -huh. But you know, grades has a fiki. And then you, you have to change the course. Okay. From primary, you start being a pilot. Then mm -hmm. you become an engineer. Mm -hmm. And then the math goes down. <laughs> Physics. Physics, you can't get it. Then, History uh, looking good. Perfect. It was perfect. Yes. I liked the theory part of it. Okay. So, and then the inspiration was to help back to, give back to community. Ah. Uh, yeah. At the time, I was struggling with a lot of, you know, problems here there People family complain yeah yeah, yeah. Yes. so i thought like why not why not I could did you know advocate. anybody else who was you know like doing law in your family anywhere w w did you ever see like in movies and be like oh my god that looks so cool oh yeah oh yeah i was watching tv at the time you know that time we used to be told like uh when it comes to seven o'clock yeah you watch the news and you're done. Yes. Then there was this program that was coming on TV, investigations, investigations. Yeah. So you always wonder like, where do these things go? Once they've investigated, once they've investigated, mm -hmm. you needed to take it to court or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I always saw myself with a briefcase and something like that. So there I was. <laughs> There was. That is so stereotypical, but it's true. <laughs> like, it they're always like with big files yeah, and, yeah, you yeah. know, like little suitcases. And if you're posh enough, your suitcase comes with like wheels, you, you know. know? Uh, nowadays, they do, they, they have this Ivy League. Uh -huh. You've heard of the Ivy League? Yes. Yes, yes. At the moment, we are not there on the Ivy, mm -hmm. but we are closer there. We're that's, closer. That's closer the aspiration. To... Okay. Yes. So, going back to, I think it's either Form 4, where yeah. you apply for the courses that you want to partake yes, yes. Uh, when you go to campus. Yes. At, at that point when you were filling in those uh, forms, yes. did you know, was law a lawyer part of that? Well, um, I had a very mixed up upbringing. Mm -hmm. I did my primary school in Kenya. Mm -hmm. I did my high school in Uganda. Ah. So I've gone up to form six. Okay, okay. Um, okay. I was in the group of schools mm -hmm. at the time in Uganda. Yes. I was privileged enough to get there. And uh, at form five, six, that's the point where you fill in which course you'd want to do. So I filled in the law. And what subjects did you need? You needed to have history, English, I took literature, and economics. Okay. Yes. And, and then when I came back to Kenya, that's when I applied to the Nairobi University. Mm -hmm. um, the qualification normally is a C for the private students mm -hmm. and uh, when your government sponsored is different yes you need to get a minus at least a minus yes a minus not even like a b plus oh no 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 an average of a minus does that mean that they will study for a shorter time than the ones who are going for private i mean it's still the same time only that maybe your fees will be a bit more expensive exactly mm. time is the same okay uh but the class attendance is a bit different because mm -hmm. you see when you're a private sponsored student yeah what happens is you come they assume that you have other things that you're doing. Mm -hmm. So you come to class in the In the evenings. evenings yes. yes, yes. So for the regular classes, you come the whole day. Mm -hmm. And then the private students in the evening. Okay. And the classes are just for two hours every okay. day. Okay. Yes. And how long does the course take? I mean, to Maliza, the whole thing. I'm a, what what uh, steps are there? What unaganish amaranga pivi? Well, um, the course is four years. Okay. Uh, we have subjects can go up to sometimes up to 12, oh, depending wow. on how you select them. Mm -hmm. And then um, each class is a lecture for two hours every okay. day. Okay. Uh, you, you interact with things like thoughts, you know, the, the libel, uh, deformation, then there's conveyancing, then there's company law, there's um, constitutional law, mm -hmm. East Africa community. I mean, the list is so long. But at that time, they, they give you the first half of the degree mm -hmm. is 
experimental, more of experimental. Okay. So the second half is where now you start specializing. You, they, they assume that you have got the feeling of the, what the, the law is all about. Yes. Because actually one of the lecturers used to say, mm -hmm. you are not taught the law. Ah. You are showed where to find the law. Oh. Oh, yeah. So That's interesting. It is, it is, it is, it is. We, we're going to take a very short commercial break. And if this is the career that you want to take or you want to pursue, please send in the questions because we have the expert here and they will be answering all those questions for you. Triple one, triple four, triple one. We're taking a very short commercial break. We will be right back. Welcome back to Full Circle with Mwikali. I have Makori Victor in the building, an advocate of the High Court. And Mbua Kuna difference, your lawyer and advocate of the High Court. So we're getting schooled today. Is that, there's a difference, right? Oh, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, uh, I'd like to approach that in uh, two ways. Okay. One is uh, an advocate of the High Court is someone who has actually been admitted to the to bar. To the bar. Okay. Yes. Okay. And a lawyer is someone who has basically had an interaction with the law in terms of training. So you could have a degree in law, mm -hmm. you become a lawyer, mm -hmm. and you have a diploma in law, you could be presumed as a lawyer, okay. you've just not been admitted to the bar. Oh my goodness. So what does that mean? Can you represent me if you're just a lawyer? No. Oh, no. okay. So you can advise me, Yes. but you cannot represent me in a court of law. Yes. So you do the four years that we were talking about mm -hmm. earlier, depending if you are a private sponsored student yes. or a government sponsored student. Yes. After the four years, yes. then you pursue... A diploma. It's a called, di yes. Okay. It's a postgraduate diploma. Where? It's for two years. Okay. Basically, uh, this is the first time I'm hearing of a <laughs> diploma that comes after the degree, but it's fine, guys. It's crazy. It's yeah. crazy. Because <laughs> uh, um, ideally, uh, the diploma is to give you a feel of the practical essence of the law. Okay. So you go to Kenya School of Law, mm -hmm. it's in current. Mm -hmm. You do a class based training that mm -hmm. is for six months. Mm -hmm where you, then you are sent to a law firm or a, a legal practicing entity mm -hmm. to do your pupillage. They call it pupillage. Pupillage, yes. Yeah, as well, that's where you get the baptism by either fire or something Mostly else. Fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly fire. Yeah. Mostly fire. So yes. after that, you have to sit for the exam, the yes. bar exam. Yes. And after that, that's when you become an advocate of the... When people talk about passing the bar, it looks like such a big deal. Is it that tough? It's crazy. It's crazy. I tell you a story, right? Okay, please do. Now, I was in class with a, a fully qualified doctor. Okay. Who got no pass in the exam. There were nine courses. Mm -hmm. He got no pass in any of them. What? A qualified doctor getting no pass. So, you see, that, that, there's even complaints of backlogs of students who've been mm. in KSL for way too long. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of them were passing on a rumor that it's a way of keeping the number down. Oh. Yeah. Now they've even introduced uh, an exam, a pre-buy exam, before the buy exam. Okay. Yeah, so it gets tougher by the day. My goodness. So over the years we've seen uh, there was a lot of paperwork. Yes. A lot of paperwork, the technology ca came in. Yes. And how has that then helped lawyers and, you know, even judges to be able to just keep tabs of what needs to be done and, you know, just trying to clear off the backlogs and trying not to lose the paperwork? Well, <laughs> a, a good place to begin in where the technology comes in is the way Cases are being filed now. Yes. There's something they call e-filing. Mm -hmm. the, the judiciary has taken the system to the online platform mm -hmm. where you, the, as an advocate, you open your own portal where you're able to upload cases. You, you do all the filing of the documentation online mm -hmm. thanks to the COVID now. And um, the money is paid online. Everything is done online. The case management is mostly done online. If you're serving any party with documentations, it's done online. And um, there are apps doing rounds. There is, uh, I can't mention the names right now. Okay. Because uh, for obvious reasons. Yes. Now, um, they are doing rounds in, in terms of, uh, they, they help you with file management. There is filing, there is uh, serving, <coughs> there is uh, case management. Most of them are really trying to almost replace the initial contact in our Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you're, probably you have, there's a famous series mm -hmm. uh, called Suits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Harvey Scott makes it look like, you know, a walk in the park. <laughs> Harvey walks in and he's looking sharp and everything. So there's also that misconception of maybe lawyers need to be sharp, they need to be quick with their mouth and, you know, be able to come up with things, be able to pick up a corner left right center yeah. and if i'm just a quiet human being who mm. probably is shy a bit can i still get into you know being a lawyer well the legal practices are very wide wide okay yes and what you see on tv mm -hmm. is nothing close to what happens in reality oh, really? oh yeah so <laughs> There is, uh, I'd like to refer you to uh, an instance, for example, when you go to seek for legal counsel, mm -hmm. yeah, you go to town, for example, you, you find a wakili, mm -hmm. tell the wakili your problems, mm -hmm. and uh, there is so many social factors that come into play. Mm -hmm. For example, our court systems here are different from many others, yeah? Okay. Um, when you file your case, for example, you go seek for legal counsel, th there is issues of uh, monetary, yeah? They say legal access should be the most convenient as possible. Yes. Right? But ideally here you can't. Because most of the time, Wakili needs to make a living yeah. at the end of the day. Mm. So if you have a problem, there's issues of monetary. Although there's pro bono, yes. Mm -hmm. Then there's a way when you go to court, the other advocate needs to respond in a certain way or the court needs to have a, a conducive timeline mm -hmm. for you to complete the case. But when you get there, there's a lot of backlogs, you see. You get a date like six months from now. You get a date like one year from now, and then your case is either shelved because you don't have finances. Yeah. There's there's a lot of there's a lot of backgrounds to it. Mm -hmm. So what you see on TV is more of um, a peer exercise, so to say. Ah. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. So we're not buying that. You shouldn't <laughs> buy it. Don't buy it. But is there hope for you know someone else who wants to join and they are not as you know, they're good public speakers. Is one of the things that you need to be is be a good public speaking yeah. person, or is that is that something that you're trained when you get into school, the four years and the two years after that? Well, there's there's a course that you're trained for that, mm -hmm. but <clears> ideally, <throat> if you have the natural characteristics, then it helps. It does help. It really yeah. helps. It goes a long way. Okay. But there's a course. It's called trial advocacy. Uh -huh. They teach you how to pose, mm -hmm. how to orate. Mm -hmm. how to research, how to present, how to read the mood of the court, how to read the mood of the interviewer, uh, you know, yeah. Telltale sign. Yes, yes. If I look this way, then you know I'm lying. Yeah. <laughs> if you wink that way, I know you're telling the truth. Okay. <laughs> now I understand why it was an option uh, during my time. Was it? Because I could, yeah, I could talk myself out of anything. <laughs> I remember it was a choice. It was a choice for me. I didn't get the grades for it, but it was a choice at mm -hmm. that particular point. Mm -hmm. And so when you get in, how lucrative is it? After you've gone through the six years, yeah. you've passed the bar. Is it automatic for me at that point then that I will get a job? What are the options then? The experience, uh, like I said, moving away from suits again. Yes. The experience on the ground is quite different. Okay. Once you've completed the six years, there is that stage where you are in the pupillage stage. That is the most important stage of the practice. Okay. And this is an opinion again. Because um, when you get into the legal practice, you realize there are several fields that you can get into. There is now the conventional ones, which mm -hmm. is property law, mm -hmm. conveyancing, corporate law and um, company law. That is the most conventional areas of practice. But then we have now sports law. We have intellectual property law. Yes. Uh, which again, they have other facets in it that you, you, you might need to get into. Unless you've had that kind of interaction in your pupillage phase, mm -hmm. you will not even realize that they do exist. Mm -hmm. So for example, if now you get into the area of conveyancing, mm -hmm. buying and selling of properties, mm -hmm. you you realize that uh, it's, it's, it's like a facade. You're chasing your own tail. But now there are new avenues, for example, intellectual property law. We have people like influencers. Mm -hmm. We have artists. We have creatives yes. who need those kind of legal services. For example, um, if you're uh, an influencer and you're, you're getting, for example, a gig, mm -hmm. and you've been approached to promote a product, yes. and you do not understand the rights that exists in such an interaction. So perhaps you may get a template. As an advocate now, you, it's your job to go out and 
speak to these people and identify, educate them about the rights that are there mm -hmm. and what they should be looking out for so okay. that they don't get the short end of the stick. Okay. Yes. Okay. And are you, see how when we, probably when you go through broadcast school, yeah. then you get to a point where you decide, do I want to do sound or mm. do I want to do uh, lighting? Do I want, you know, the production bit of it or do I want to come to the other side if you're doing journalism? Mm. Do you get to choose that at all? At any one point, or that happens when you're doing your pupillage, where you find yourself, then you decide this is what you want to do, or can you change? You can always change. Um, the reason why I was pointing to pupillage is because of the experience. Normally, yes. the inception experience mm -hmm. tends to form perception of the whole exercise. Okay. So, um, I would say you can always change at any point. Uh, so, whatever you studied yeah. for the six years yeah. can take you wherever you want to go. Yes. That's dope. Yes. That's really nice. So, I can do one year criminal. Yes. Next year, you may decide to go But we can for, <laughs> for, for, for the sake of consistency, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you will need to pick one and stick with it. <laughs> oh, just checking. Yes. Just checking. So, it's it's good for you to, like, we've known, we know lawyers who are known for. You know, they'll specific handle things. specific yes, yes. There's one very famous one we all know if yeah. you get into trouble, you know who to call, especially yes. if you're a celebrity <laughs> or a politician. Um, so it's good for you to just stick with one. Yeah. What are the downsides? I'm sure they are there. Oh, there's so many. What are the downsides for anybody well, who's just watching and being like, hey, law looks nice? Downside for the law generally or practice, like specific practice? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll go for general practice. Okay. Well, one of them is uh, failing to get a mentor. Uh, when you get into the law practice without anyone to point you to a specific direction, mm -hmm. you find like Mwikali, today you're doing criminal, tomorrow is um, civil, the next day is conveyancing, and by the time you're done like five years, you still have no feel of what you want to do. So you don't know where the money comes from, yes. you don't know where the job is going to come There's from. No you ju you're just experimenting. Yeah. Now, again, when it comes to practice, area of practices, mm -hmm. if you pick, for example, conveyancing, mm -hmm. now, you know the law changes mm -hmm. over and over. It changes, changes, changes. So if you're so stuck up with a, a routine, for example, yours is just company law, company law, company law. So there's new advancements in, for example, again, intellectual property law. Yes. You do not know about that. Uh. And now, you have to refresh yourself when you get the kind of instructions that touch on that. Yeah. You find you have to do a lot of background research because, mm -hmm. again, you're discovering the law. Okay. You have so much to discover. Okay. Yes. How is the money? This is my last question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, people want to make money. You say lawyers got to eat. Ah, they need to true. pay their bills. True. How's the money? Well, for the money part, yes. I was told when I was in KSL yeah. that if you've got into law, for the purposes of making money, okay. you're in the wrong profession. Oh. Okay. It takes it takes a long time oh. for you to get to the money. Because okay. first of all... A long time is how long? I just want to encourage someone over there to ah. think, I do not want to be a lawyer now. Mm. <laughs> Victor said this and that. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. Not there's, really. there's good money. There's good there's money. Good money. When you start getting the money, it's good. There's good money. Nonetheless, <laughs> there's always good money. So okay. an average of three years. An average you, of you should years. start seeing okay, returns. I think that's that's the same when you're starting off. Yes, yes. Anywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So three years. Yeah. Three years and you start getting in the good money. You see good. You see money. You, you see don't see money. good money. Okay, you see money. fine. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for coming through on well, Business Circle and thank you for you know enlightening us and for teaching our young people who want to get into the scene or who are already like in the journey of getting into the scene, the things they should be looking out for, Sante Sananashkuru, maybe you can leave us with your details how people can get in touch with you for yeah. any questions that they may have. Yes, uh, I do my practice. I'm a, margin, I'm a managing partner at uh, Atandian Company Advocates. We're based in Westlands Commercial Center. Okay. Um, anyone who has interest in terms of intellectual property law, you can reach us on any social media handle on the same. Atandi Advocates. We also have a website. You can click on it, www.atandiadvocates.com. Okay. Yes. Asante sana kukunya. Karibu sana. We're taking a very short commercial break. We will be right back. This is Full Circle with Mukali. <laughs>